we continue our reading of Turn Your Eyes Upon Jesus, an invitation to spend a year with your best friend, a daily devotional by author George R. Knight. Today's reading, October 9, The Paradox of a Crucified Messiah. Those who passed by derided him, wagging their heads and saying, You who would destroy the temple and build it in three days, save yourself. If you are the Son of God, come down from the cross. So also the chief priests, with the scribes and elders, mocked him, saying, He saved others. He cannot save himself. He is the King of Israel. Let him come down from the cross, and we will believe in him. He trusts in God. Let God deliver him now, if he desires him, for he said, I am the Son of God. And the robbers who were crucified with him also reviled him in the same way. Matthew twenty-seven thirty-nine to 44 How would you have responded to such people whom you were dying to save? If it were me, I would have gotten off the, my cross and given them exactly what they deserved. I would show them in no uncertain terms who I was. They would be sorry that they had ever mocked me. I could, of course, destroy the whole mess of them by a limited atomic display, but then a slow fire would be more to my liking. Soon I would have them all begging and bowing. We can be thankful that Jesus wasn't like me. But the interesting fact of the situation is that Jesus is the only crucified individual in history who could have gotten off his cross. He could have used his divine power to escape it. But the one who knew no sin chose to stay on it and die in our place to become sin so that in him we might become the righteousness of God, 2 Corinthians 5.21. I lay down my life, we read in John's Gospel. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down of my own accord. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it again. Jesus had a choice, and he decided to do God's will rather than his own. He chooses to remain on the cross. The truth of the matter is that the Jewish leaders were quite correct when they shouted out, He saved others. He cannot save himself. The facts of the case are that if Jesus was to save anyone, he could not leave the cross. For Jesus, it was a physical possibility, but not a moral or spiritual one. To flee the cross would be to reject his role as the Lamb of God, who was to die for the sins of the world, John 1, 29. Such is the paradox of paradoxes, a crucified Messiah, a dying Savior. Today, we can thank God that Jesus hung on the cross to the bitter end. It is because of that sacrifice on Calvary that we can share paradise with him for eternity. This concludes our reading today of Turn Your Eyes Upon Jesus.